Hey everyone, welcome to another week here at the Tour Lane. I am trying to vacuum up everything to get the majority of the dust out. One of the things that we have to do this weekend is to move the wood that in episode 2, 3 or 4, somewhere in that range, uh, we carried down um, all the wood from the <coughs> windows and doors. Um, it is in a spot where we had some water damage and there is a little bit of mold growth. So I want to just get it out of that area and put it in a different spot in the basement. And I want to also clean them a little bit with maybe a, a very dissolved solution of bleach or vinegar just to get rid of the, the mold growth. I also hope everybody had a wonderful 4th of July weekend. We definitely did. I obviously am working at the house again, but yesterday the 3rd on Friday, I uh, had my day off. We went to another city close by and looked at some replacement windows because I have to do the windows before we can do all the spray foam insulation. So that is one of the next few projects, but I have to order it first. I'm still deciding on what windows we want to take. Um, we want to make them look as traditional as possible but we still want them to be modern windows i'm sure i'll keep you updated of what we choose to buy
here I wanted to show you guys I got everything vacuumed up <coughs> here in Elias's room and then the middle room that is turning into the laundry room in the closet and in the bathroom over there by the window for the people that we haven't seen the older videos this room is gonna become our big uh, bedroom uh, bathroom up here that the two kids bedrooms are gonna share this one over there and the one over here and since we want the laundry room up here too we will use that room as a laundry room also and then over here that master slash guest bedroom um, get everything cleaned I have to say this device works really well. The dust separator makes work much easier. question that I hear a lot is why didn't I just rent a dumpster to put all the debris and dust and plaster in there so that I don't have to do all that work with the pickup and bring it back every week and uh, so on um, the main reason was we actually had planned to do a dumpster but then COVID-19 hit and my parents weren't able to come and it would have cost so much so that we decided to just wait and the reason why it would have cost so much is when my parents were here we would have just I would have taken some vacation and we would have gotten all of that stuff done in a week or two and so we would have only had to pay for the dumps for two weeks and then this uh, this way since they didn't come much more work to just do it on the weekends by myself um, even with Caleb's help and therefore the dumpster would have been here for so many weeks on end which would have meant we would have had to pay for all of these. I looked around, I didn't find any dumpster places here in my area that just bring the dumpster and then leave it there for as many as long as long as you want it for no extra charge. They all had a daily charge or a weekly charge and uh, I just didn't want to pay for months on end for a dumpster. And especially if you just leave your dumpster around 
in a neighborhood. Uh, other people put um, uh, stuff in there too. And then I would have had to empty it quite a few times probably. And um, I fi figured this is cheaper and I have the time. Me, I'm not in a hurry. So we just um, wanted to save some money on that. One thing this week I have to do is get all the moldings and trim that were around the windows and doors moved over to this area where it's a little bit more dry in the basement and get them all cleaned with bleach and vinegar just to get all the mold uh, from the bottom removed. I'll show you guys here in the basement where I had them before. Um, we have a little bit of wet area there. So let me turn on the light. And you can see right there uh, next to the electric box is where I had them and we have a little bit of water damage sometimes when it rains really really hard it comes in through this wall so kind of have to move the wood that I have here and everything here over the next few weeks and then um, another project for the future is to get this wall completely watertight we just have to dig uh, down on the outside to it and put uh, water membrane around it so that water doesn't come in again you can see we have a sump pump and it works well keeps the water at bay but it's just a lot of water comes then we get uh, sometimes issues Hey guys, quick little update. It's Monday. I purchased a humidifier, a dehumidifier and a fan to get <clears throat> the basement dried up a little bit. I Let's just see how it goes over the next week. And when I come back sometime uh, later this week to check how it feels down here. Right now, you can see we have 80% to 82% humidity all the time here. And uh, we definitely need to get that water out and you can see here I have it on continuous mode and I just have it connected to some pump so we'll just evacuate the water itself. In addition to that I also <clears throat> got some mold inhibitor and sprayed down all the wood over here, uh, the corner over there and then also one more time the wood that was standing over there in the corner I sprayed it all down with some anti-mold mold inhibitor, inhibitor so that uh, we won't have any issues down the road from here. At least hopefully, fingers crossed. This was another successful week here at the Tour Lane. I got a lot of stuff done, pretty happy about it. And I hope all of you guys had a wonderful 4th of July weekend for all the Americans and everybody else. Hopefully they had a good weekend anyways. And well, uh, see you next time I turn on the camera. For, <clears throat> just so you guys know for all the people that are still watching I won't be in the video probably next week because I have something with work going on all weekend which is gonna just require me to do a lot of work so we either don't have a video or just depends on um, how Julie feels how Julie um, 
yeah, it just uh, it will just depend on how Julie feels. If she wants to come over here and do some work, I know there's lots of uh, stuff to clean up. So maybe she's gonna come and we'll do a, a different type of video next week, or potentially we might not have a video. Just so you guys have a heads up, and don't be surprised why potentially there's no video next week.